What's going on guys? And welcome back to the honey stand. Hi. What are you doing? You gonna let me love on you, hmm? So my mom and I spent a good bit of time up in the apiary and my husband and my dad and my son worked in the, the barn shop. So let's go up and take a look at it and see, see what they've gotten done. Make a patio. Yeah, we can do see how each one of these blocks is. Yeah. We can pour that. Cool. Just a lot longer. It's a concrete mixer. Does this mean I can concrete one of their stalls? Mm -hmm. Maybe set it up. Well, actually you can. Maybe one day set it up for a dairy cow. I've been chosen Oh, this looks really, really good. This looks really good. So my husband and my son and my dad have come up here and they are in the process. They got a little bit more work done. This is really cool. Okay, what about this? Well, I don't know if you can see. So it's one thing looking at blueprints off of a piece of paper, but it's another thing actually seeing it in person and trying to figure out and decide on where you want certain things. My husband and I are looking at the office that's gonna be here in the barn shop that's gonna allow us to have a place that we can be able to conduct business as well as our own personal notes and documenting, running a farm, running a homestead, sharing and documenting on YouTube, offering workshops, all of that. This is going to be a place that we're gonna be able to kind of sneak away from the house and have set up for our own personal business. You're gonna be sitting right here with a nice, you can put a nice table in this space right here. Okay. If you want a table. All right. And you got chairs on both sides of it if you wanted to. So we have our, our desk here. I wanted to have more of like a table setting, but we can build a table desk. Yeah. I mean, so you, can, you can put something with a couple chairs that somebody to sit at if you'd like with, with a desk right there. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, so desk right here. Yeah. Where Where do we want the door? Do we want to center the door coming in here, right here? Yeah. Yeah. Right, that, that's just a, that could be a wall right here, so the door will be. Pretty so pretty yeah, pretty. you can do the door here, desk here. We'll go this way with the desk. I'll have a couple of chairs off of this side. Our chairs on this side. And then this leaves us room with shelves that I can use some shelves on up here if I want to. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep the kitchen area where we have, like I'm not, I don't wanna add another, if I add anything to this side, it'll be like a glass, like a glass refrigerator or something that you can see through it. Mm -hmm. But that's like 10 year, five year plan. So mm -hmm. I don't mind having like the refrigerator and kitchen kept in here and then that just be where we conduct business, we talk, we work, do our thing. Okay, I like that. So, desk that way. This all is going to be kind of open for whatever. Um, mm -hmm. And then, Ella wants a little spot. So, I'll, uh, she can have some space to be able to do her art or whatever she wants to do. Then we have, what's this? This, you're going to walk into the utility closet. There's going to be a wall right here. These are just small. Okay, so this, this is, wall. so this right here where I'm standing is actually in the kitchen. Right open, yeah. Okay, so, so. This is a door right now. All right, so yeah. doors here, utility closet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you maybe put a shelf in here? Whether it be like hot water heater and then you have a pressure tank. Okay, hot water heater, pressure tank. And then going into, so going into the kitchen would be right here. Correct. Yeah. Wherever. I mean, you, you put the door right here. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so door right there. Yeah, yeah I'd rather it be kind of... You want a little bit of wall space right here? Yeah. Okay. You know, if Ella wants to set up a workspace right here? Yes, I agree. You know, and yeah. then you want, you want that door to be more like, you know, right here. That works. You walk in right here. Okay. Not in the middle. And then you so, have this wall space also in the kitchen. 
If you put the door here, you're going to hurt your wall space. Yeah, you're right. So we probably want to keep the door kind of centered. Like right here. Okay. Roughly. Yeah. Okay. So door here, going into the kitchen. Yeah. Right now I have one of the big chest freezers up here, and it's actually holding all of our chicken that we processed the other day. Um, but eventually we're going to end up needing to have more freezer space. Maybe a big walkout one outside. I really like this. So obviously we're going to be processing some of our larger animals in here. And so we were actually kind of discussing um, a system that we could use to either winch up some of our larger animals to make it a little bit easier when it comes time to processing. So we're looking at structural support and figuring out a good system for that. But in the meantime, in the meantime, we're, we're just chipping away. And then for the office area, the ceiling's gonna be a little bit lower, correct? Yeah, I'm thinking you wanna go probably eight or nine feet because when you get up to the, there you wanna be able to, you know, kind of someone stand up, you wanna be crawling around. Yeah, okay. So then we could have that upper area for storage, right? That's kind yes, of the plan. And that'll be accessible from the outside, from the barn? Like from I could put in a you know, access door if we wanted one. Okay. Um, or leave it open? I, you know, I, I would rather just access it from over there. Yeah, that's good. Okay. From, from inside here. You want to just go right up? Like a pull down? Like a yeah, ladder it, thing? You no, know, it would be. I mean, you could put a ladder on it. But you could bring one of those ladders, set it over here, and just walk up and just like. Okay. A platform, like a loft. Yeah, I like mean, a loft. It's going to be a loft, basically. Okay. That you can put stuff on. Yeah. That's 10 foot, which gives you only 4 foot. So, 9 foot right here. Mm -hmm. you make that the office right there where it's bending. Yeah. If you make that the office height, that's still tall. I mean, this is 8 foot right here. I would say at least eight and a half. Okay, so eight and a half, nine, that gives us plenty of space to be able to hold, have that storage. Would be five, five to five and a half feet to walk around there. Okay. You know, I think that's a good. Stand up, up there and put stuff up there. I think that's a good idea because we have a lot of canning jars. So eight and a half would be a good ceiling height. For okay. Us. Yeah, I like that. So eight and a half. I love the French doors though. I think so that's. The ceiling might be right there above the door. What that's not the... bad. That's not bad. Game plans. So I asked my husband if he can go ahead and install uh, a doorknob that has a little code punch instead of me having to track down a key or constantly losing a key up into the apothecary. We're outside, we're rolling. You know, I don't always wanna carry keys with me. So he's gonna go ahead and install my little code uh, keypad for the apothecary for my mom and I. While he's doing that, let's go, uh, Let's go see what's growing outside the apothecary. We planted a good bit of stuff out here recently. So, figured I got a couple of minutes. Let's see if we can identify some of the things. I see some beautiful motherwort that is growing. We use motherwort mainly in a tincture. We can add it into a tea. Um, it's not bad, it's a little bit better. But for a tincture, motherwort is definitely good for your heart and everybody needs a little bit of mother in their life. So my mom and my sister and I have planted it all around the outside of the apothecary. And I know a few people ask me, why the heck would I plant stinging nettle? I wanna be able to know where it's growing so that when I'm harvesting it, I can easily walk out here and grab a good bit of it and uh, dry it, add it into a tea, add it into our tincture. Stinging nettle is one of those herbs that hits all the systems of your body and supports all the systems of your body. It even has a really strong antihistamine effect to it. So if you need to add some stinging nettle to your tea, especially in the summertime, springtime, whenever your allergies are going awry, um, stinging nettle would be one that I would definitely consider. But it's growing really good over here. I think it is happy. We've got a few of them of all different ages. And this one looks like it's going to seed, which I'm gonna let it go to seed, why not? 
This whole patch can be a stinging nettle patch. I just need to remember not to be wearing my flip flops around back here <laughs> whenever I come for a walk because walking through a patch of stinging nettles and flip flops, ouch. <laughs> share the code with you guys. I love y'all, but nope. Uh, it worked! Yeah, this is gonna be really nice by not having to carry around a key or try to hide a key. So I'm trying to convince my son that he needs to be documenting his build on his, his truck. Uh, he started sanding it and we're gonna hopefully pick out a paint color and get it completely painted. Uh, just want to pick out the right color. We're thinking the original is like this charcoal-y color, but we'll see. We'll keep you guys posted on the barn shop, of course, and as we go throughout and figure out plans and figure out where we want to put things, I'm definitely excited about all of this and we have, we've got some more work to do. And as always, don't be afraid to get your hands dirty and learn something old. Bye guys.